This fly is no ordinary fly. He uses a tape machine to exercise his leg muscles every day. He uses a toothpick as a dumbbell to exercise his arm strength and a lamp filament as a tensioner to exercise his back muscles. The reason he had to be so strong was to kill this man and avenge his past life. It turns out that just a few days ago, this fly was just an ordinary man, but he had a very beautiful girlfriend, Samantha. Samantha is a micro sculptor. Besides being beautiful, she is also very kind-hearted and often organizes people to donate learning materials to schools in the slums, but it was her good deed that brought her boyfriend to death. One day, when she came to a company to help raise money for the school, she was seen by Sudeep, a rich man. Sudeep is smitten with Samantha's beauty from the first moment he sees her. To get Samantha, Sudeep donated $1.5 million to the school. He also took the opportunity to invite Samantha to dinner with him. And Samantha agreed to entertain him. But what he didn't expect was that Samantha kept looking at Nanny, who was not far away during the meal. It makes Sudeep's heart very uncomfortable to know that as long as he wants to get this woman, he can't get her. Now he spent $1.5 million on Samantha. But even her sincere smile can't be exchanged. He did not spend that money in vain. He was even more upset when he saw Samantha and Nanny smiling so happily while shopping for groceries together. So that night he sent someone to take Nanny away and took him to the grove and beat him severely, seeing that Nanny was unwilling to leave Samantha. In his anger, Sudeep took off his shoes and smoked Nanny to death with his stinky feet. Unwilling to die in this way, Nanny took his soul out of his body and attached it to a worm egg as a red light. Soon after, he emerged from the egg and turned into a red-headed fly. At that moment, Nanny was still very confused. He did not know who he was or where he was. Only when he saw that all his kind had broken out of their shells did he realize that he had become a fly. At this time, I do not know who Naughty P, but in his eyes there was a shocking wave. So he turned around and ran for his life. He was about to be submerged by the flood. But at the critical moment, he flapped his wings and escaped. Nanny escaped like a headless fly flying around. When he saw some children blowing bubbles, he flew over to see them curiously. Unsurprisingly, a little girl opened her mouth and sucked him into her mouth and blew him into the bubble. After another little girl saw it, she stretched out two big hands to shoot him to death. But the bubble burst early and he was able to escape. But I didn't expect him to fall. And then he was targeted by an old eagle. Nanny ran desperately, the old eagle chasing desperately. Fortunately, there was a small hole in the window. So he did not become the old eagle's lunch. He felt a bit thirsty after the violent escape and saw the owner of the room pouring water. So he ran over and took a sip, only to be smashed into the water by a spoonful of caramel. Just struggling to climb out of the water, he was smashed back again by a spoonful of icing sugar. After a frantic stir, a large spoon was reached in to scoop him up again, seeing that he was about to get drunk in the man's mouth. Suddenly the man's phone rang, and then fled again. At the same time, he also saw the man's features clearly and recovered his memory of his life. Because of the man's stinking foot, even if he turned into a fly, he could not forget it, seeing that his enemy was right in front of him. He flapped his wings desperately and turned his speed to the maximum, intended to fly up to run the man to death, but unexpectedly he overestimated his strength. The man did not even feel, and almost killed himself. He was not willing to try again. The result is that the man just gently waved his hand and knocked him to the ground and felt dizzy. When he answered, Sudeep had already answered the phone and left. There was no need for him to stay here for the time being. He planned to see Samantha first before coming back for revenge. But to his surprise, when he arrived at Samantha's place, he heard Sudeep convince Samantha to forget about him, and even took the opportunity to touch Samantha's hand, which made Nanny very angry. Since he couldn't beat him, he started using his master skill of buzzing flies to annoy him. Seeing that it worked, he kept buzzing his ears and even got into his ears. Sudeep was like a psychopath. Scratching and scratching, after such a mess, he was not in the mood to stay here anymore, so he left in a hurry. After that, he began harassing her 24 hours a day. Sudeep was so annoyed that he slept with the blanket over his head at night. Nanny came and threw the gap in the blanket and wouldn't let you sleep anyway. It didn't matter if he came to the couch or ran to the chair. In any case, the flies would chase him wherever he went. So until 4 a.m., Sudeep also didn't get a sound sleep. Finally, he was really sleepy, so he used the sheet to wrap himself in a mummy. The next day Sudeep drove down the road. He saw the right moment to fly into his eyes and kicked him in the eye. Sudeep's car flew 30,000 meters and crashed into a truck. He thought he was going to die this time, but he survived. <sighs> Nanny had no choice but to write big words on the glass. I'll kill you. 
This frightened Sudeep, and the insecticide never left his hands after that. Samantha came to visit him at that time and saw that he was so banged up and his big greasy hand was still so unfaithful. Nanny, who was hiding in the shadows, couldn't take it anymore and immediately rushed to Sudeep. But Samantha grabbed the insecticide and sprayed it on his face. Nanny stumbled out of the window and fell on a flower petal. He was about to die of insecticide. But Samantha tripped over the water pipe and turned on the tap when she left. The water came out of the hose and sprayed on Nanny, which revived him. But Sudeep now had insecticide in his hand. He had to find a helper to do it. So he immediately came to Samantha. At that moment, Samantha was holding the gift he had given Samantha and crying silently. Seeing Samantha's tears fall on the table, he suddenly thought of a way. He immediately ran to the table and wrote down his name in tears. At first Samantha couldn't believe it, but when she tried to ask Nanny a few questions, she finally believed it was true. Then he landed in a newspaper and told Samantha that Sudeep had killed him. Knowing that Nanny wanted revenge on Sudeep, Samantha immediately used her microsculpting skills to help Nanny make a pair of anti-drug masks. With this mask, Nanny is no longer afraid of insecticides. Not only is he immune to insecticide attacks, but he can also wag his tail to show his disdain for Sudeep. Samantha then gave Nanny a series of fitness equipment to strengthen Nanny's muscles. After a period of hard work, Nanny finally got eight abs. Finally, Nanny was given a pair of alloy arms. Now he will be completely invincible. After the transformation, Nanny set out again for revenge. He first shaved the wires in Sudeep's house and then led him over to catch himself. Sudeep came to the roof to inspect the work. He dragged him to the edge and almost fell to his death. He then intervened with the barber while Sudeep was having his hair cut, causing him to almost shave his neck. Fortunately, he reacted quickly to save his own life. At the same time Sudeep did not remain idle, he sent all his men out to catch flies. Then he used a magnifying glass to look for himself, but never found the red-headed flies he wanted. Then he spread fly poison all over the table, trying to poison him to death. As a result, Nanny threw the fly poison into a glass of water, and Sudeep took a sip of it and felt it taste strange. Picking up the glass of water and taking a closer look, he was so frightened that he rushed to the toilet and threw up the meal he had eaten the day before. That day Nanny heard that Sudeep had a small gun ornament at home, and the gun was facing the sofa. He went back and told Samantha about his idea, and after testing the power of the cannon, it was really something. So transformed Nanny became a porter, constantly transporting gunpowder to Sudeep's home. When the gunpowder was almost ready, he deliberately entered the barrel of the gun to attract Sudeep's attention. Sudeep thought he had finally caught him this time, put a steel ball in it and hated it hard. What he didn't know was that this was actually Nanny's plan. Just waiting for him to dislike gunpowder is solid, so that a shell can kill him. But what we didn't expect was that Sudeep had upgraded his home before the cannon was even used. The doors and windows were all replaced with tempered glass and six surveillance monitors were installed to shoot 360 degrees. Anyone who wants to enter their home must go through sterilization and thermal imaging sensors. It is true that even a fly cannot enter. Nanny can only come back to Samantha to help her find a way in. So the next day Samantha came to Sudeep's house and unscrewed a screw on the window when he wasn't looking. Nanny followed the screw hole into the house and got into Sudeep's clothes. Let you use high-tech to bully me again. See if I do not catch you dead. Okay, man. It's only 0.3 seconds after the blood has washed out. Finally, Sudeep could not bear it, so he excused himself from dealing with urgent matters. After Samantha left, he hurriedly took off his clothes to look for flies. After a few days of torture, Sudeep was completely devastated. No matter what he saw, he looked like a fly. Even the signature on the $2 billion contract was written by a fly. In order to save the project, his subordinates helped him ask the partner out. He wanted him to explain. But Sudeep came up with two dark circles under his eyes and said flies. The most annoying thing was seeing flies landing on a person's head. Without saying a word, he picked up a flower pot and held it over the man's head. Not only did the $2 billion project go down the drain, people also called for it to be reported for illegal money laundering. This may be Sudeep scared, rushed to the safe to transfer dirty money. But when he entered the password, the flies came and messed up again. As soon as Sudeep saw the flies, he put it all behind him and started slapping the flies on the keyboard like crazy. As a result, the arrows did not hit, but also because the password was mistakenly entered three times, the safe was locked. He had no choice but to bring an air gun, planning to burn the lock of the safe. But then Nanny came to bother him again, so he hurriedly threw the air gun away to hit the flies, and the air gun hanging there unattended, but slowly burned through the safe. The cash inside all set on fire. When Sudeep found out it was too late, 
The entire box of cash turned into ashes. Sudeep calmed down and wondered how the fly had gotten in. At this moment, he turned around and suddenly found the small hole in the window. There is no doubt that the fly must have come in from here, so who in the end unscrewed it? He immediately came upstairs to retrieve the CCTV footage and realized Samantha was the one who let the flight in. He then tied Samantha up and threatened Nanny with Samantha's life, causing her to fly over and land at his feet. Nanny couldn't bear to see Samantha get hurt, so he did as he was told. Seeing that Nanny had become a lamb to be slaughtered, Sudeep suddenly got up and intended to take off his shoes and smother Nanny with his own foot odor, but just as he was about to step on it, Nanny suddenly picked up the steel needle on the ground, and he pierced his stinky feet with foot odor. The furious Sudeep grabbed a pistol and shot Nanny. The result missed Nanny, but hit the electrical switch on the wall, short-circuiting the house. Fortunately, he was prepared, put on his ancestral night vision goggles, picked up the shotgun and started shooting wildly. The bullets were all fired, but did not hurt Nanny's hair. Now Nanny's turn, he picks up a marble from the ground. After spinning 30,000 times in the air, he shot him with a whoosh. The shattered glass of the chandelier, along with the shadows of countless flies, shot at Sudeep. All of them were embedded in his flesh, and the pain was too much for him to bear. Nanny picked up another steel nail and flew straight to Sudeep, but Sudeep picked up a magnet from the ground, and with one hand he sucked Nanny onto the magnet. Thinking that he had been tormented by the fly for so many days, he couldn't let the fly die easily, so he got up to play again and planned to torture her in front of Samantha. He first used a razor blade to cut off one of Nanny's wings and then asked Samantha to poke his body with a needle. Samantha was so upset to see Nanny tortured that she cried and begged Sudeep to let him go, but Sudeep said he didn't have enough. At that moment, Nanny looked at the gunpowder on the table, at the small steel cannon falling not far away, and the heart thought of a countermeasure. He came to the bottom of the needle and took the opportunity to let the needle stab him and tell Samantha what he thought. Samantha agreed with tears in her eyes, and then Samantha deliberately led Sudeep to bring matches. Nanny also covered her body with gunpowder, just as Sudeep intended to burn Nanny. Nanny looked at Samantha for the last time and rushed to the game. He jumped through the flames and turned into a flaming fly and went straight into the barrel of the gun. The steel ball penetrated Sudeep's body and broke the gas pipe behind him. The leaking gas came into contact with the fire on the ground, and with a bang there was a violent explosion, and the fire instantly engulfed Sudeep. Samantha also escaped because he was prepared, and when she came out of the villa it turned into a ruin. Only Nanny's wing, floating slowly in the air, finally fell into Samantha's hands. Soon after, Samantha put Nanny's wings in a pendant and carried them with her forever. When she went out, a fly would always come out to protect her when he was harassed by the punks. Looks like Nanny is not dead yet. He has attached his soul to another fly and has been silently protecting Samantha. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.